Wow, the water is out really far. Wow, it used to come right to here. Now it's way out there. But that gives us a lot more room for agates. <laughs> now we get to check all these little spots that used to be covered up in water. This is going to be a lot of fun today, for sure. This has been a crazy winter. We've hardly had any snow at all. Something in there. Could be common opal or something. I'm not sure. Almost. I think it's just quartz. That water's awfully cold. Unicite, maybe? Ooh, look at that vein. So here we are, April 7th, it's a nice day, no snow anywhere, Penny's back behind me somewhere, where is she, there she is, right there. A lot of green in that one, that's pretty cool. interesting for sure I don't know what that one is. it's just really cool looking too I think it's got some veins some lines in it so. banding yeah just Weird looking, eh? Yeah, for like sure. wormholes. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, we can cut her open. No piece of unicate. Looked like it had more potential and it was covered in sand. <laughs> A lot of oogie boogies. A nodule. So this tree, we had to climb around on these rocks to get away from the water because the water was like right here. Now look how far it is out. Holy cow. We were out here maybe a month ago and it was, wasn't this bad. 
So it's gotten worse. To me anyway. So let's see if we can find some agates. That would be awesome. Well, it's mostly just sharp basalt. Stuff that's starting to break up. Um, nothing really special, So, but at least we know now that when we look out in the water and go, geez, I wonder what's out there. Well, this is what's out there. Some veins of stuff. Mostly, just basalt. Nothing too special. So we're gonna check over here now. Yeah, this is always underwater. Crazy. So hopefully Mother Nature has left us some agates. Ooh, what kind of vein is that? That's interesting. Not what I want though. One of those weird green rocks and all full of colors. If I can reach it, Ugh. it's got purple and green, and but it's very soft. I don't know what it would be like on a cab machine, but I know I can't tumble it. I think I might have a couple pieces at home that I might try on a cab machine now that I have a cabbing machine. That'll be another project in the future. That one's interesting. That one, not so much. This is really different yeah, this one's really interesting looking. It's just granite, but it's got a really cool green mineral in the middle. And I'm wondering, since it's on this side also, if it goes right through. So I might cut this, and if yeah, I might cut this in half to see what uh, what's on the inside, if I can do something on the cab machine with this. Nope, just quartz. Just look a lot brighter than the other ones for some reason. So where Penny is standing is usually where the water's coming up. So we have all this to look at. But so far, we're kind of getting skunked. <laughs> With all this extra shoreline, I thought we'd be just swimming in the agates. But there's nothing. Penny's staying on the shore, trying to find stuff in there. I'm looking out here where Never been able to come out before. Oh, that's a nodule right on there. I can't get it. I think that's part of the other rock. That's a bummer. See if we can see it. No. Nah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I tried last time to get over to that island. And I couldn't make it. I might be able to do it this time. We shall see. I just saw a really nice piece of unikite here, too. That's a pretty one. No 
noise. And it's another one, but it's mostly uh, mostly feldspar. That one's pretty. You don't see many of these out here too often. We usually have to go a few miles down the road to get more colorful rocks. This. Probably mostly Chalcedony, I think. Chalcedony and quartz. I don't think it's an agate. Hmm, interesting. Oh, well, there we go, our first agate. It's a little one. Well, I was as I was tripping over myself, I picked up this agate. <laughs> I'm crushing. I'm crushing our head. Crushing it. Yeah, I found an agate. Just as I was kind of tripping. Yeah, I gotta find my way back to where I come from. <laughs> kind of ventured out out here and lost my way. Somewhere this way, I think. Oh, I'm gonna get wet there. And there we go. Sorta. No, we're good. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? I think that's just calcite. Can you imagine if that was an agate? Holy cow. Okay, well, since I'm wet, let's go check out that island. So we're just checking out all the bubbles on this algae. It's really, really cool. Creating oxygen. It could be frozen crayfish farts. Again, just basalt over here too. A little bit of calcite. But, gotta go this way. Gotta hopefully get way over there. Like I said before, all this is usually underwater and it's never accessible, but I thought there'd be a lot more agates because you find them on shore, right? So you think there'd be a whole lot more out waiting to be picked and washed up on shore by Mother Lake Superior. But, uh, no. Of course, there could be a lot covered in algae too that I'm not seeing. Uh, 
Uh, I couldn't get there last time, but I might be able to get there this time. It's looking a little bit more promising. Went out for my brother-in-law's birthday dinner last night. He's turning 80 years old. I had way too much calamari and way too much bruschetta bread. Well, maybe I can't get over there. There's a deep spot right in there. Crap. I can get over that way. No, it's deeper out there too. I think I said last time we come out here that I was going to bring rubber boots. Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> but I could explore that stuff over there. Let's go have a look. I see this huge white, maybe a vein of something out there. That looks so cool. Let's go check that out. Here, right? Yeah, you can see that with the bubbly, but then that big white thing out there. Look at that. That is the coolest thing. Oh, we gotta get there. Yeah. Okay, so here's the first rock. Or chunk of it, I'm thinking that's what the same stuff is. There's more of it right there. If I, can we get out there? Yeah. Look at this. That's a cool rock. I don't think. Whoa. Yeah. It's twerking. Oh, I can go this way. Oh, wow. I don't think anybody's seen this before. Look at that. Wow. Is that ever cool? And that goes right out into the water. Can you see the chevron pattern? Yeah, you can see chevrons in there. They're ever wild. And it goes right out into the water. Wow. I'll try to get over there a little bit so I can see the holes better. I'm guessing, make a little Omar's type thing. Yeah. Cause they're uh, a couple inches deep anyway. Yeah, that is so cool. That's amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this before. And it goes right back there. That is so cool. Okay, I'm just gonna take a picture of There's one chunk there. There's one there. That's about four feet by two feet maybe.
I wonder how far that goes. Looks like it curves to the left a little bit. Well, there's on the other side over there at that point. Right. There's also some of this, but not quite as wide. It's very, very narrow, but there's a little bit that goes off that point that you can walk out on. Cool. Yeah, when I first saw it, I thought it was a big chunk of ice or something. Yeah, it'd be cool to get your GoPro with the water off that way. Oh, yeah, we'll bring the GoPro out here next week, maybe. Because if you look up over here, it seems really light in the water. Yeah. GoPro and rubber boots next week. Yeah. Or next time we come out here, anyways. Wow, this is this is worth the trip right here. Awesome. Thank you, Lake Superior. Good job, buddy. So continuing on from that vein, comes down and it turns into this stuff. It's like a reddish material. All that there, and whatever that is. Maybe like a feldspar or something. And calcite together. I don't know. Well, that was worth the trip. Never saw that before, we come out here for years. But because the water is so low, we've never been able to see that. That is so wild. Oh, I wonder if I can see the end of it over here. If I go out this way. So that's where we got. So it comes out here, goes down, probably gets buried and stuff. And then continues on right out there. Right there. That is so cool. That's a huge vein. Yeah. Awesome. All right, now we gotta make our way back. I'm thinking straight ahead would be okay. Yeah, this is definitely worth the trip right here. That is so cool. I got a picture of that. Oh yeah? I just found another little nodule. There's the very elusive Lake Superior lobster. <laughs> no, it's just crayfish. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. What's he got? Looks like he's got another crayfish. That's weird. Okay, well these are the rocks that I decided that we're not going to cut. This one's got some really cool little crystals inside it. So that one's going to stay the way it is. This one just has that piece of agate on the outside. Doesn't go in very far. Well, it might go through, but come on. It's very, it looks like it's pretty loose in the rock and it might even just pop out if I do anything with it. So what I probably could do is put that on the flat lap or the cabbing machine, flatten it out, maybe give it a polish. Then we have this piece here that you really can't do anything with. There's a rock stuck in the middle of it. Just a piece of quartz mostly. This one also has a big piece of quartz in the middle. So I will probably just face polish that. And this one, maybe tumble it. 
too small to cut and I don't know if there's any banding inside. So the ones that I want to cut, this one for sure, because I'm hoping that green goes all the way through. That's pretty cool. This is granite, but I'm not sure what this is. This egg in here is going to be very cool to cut open. I'm going to cut that right in half. Probably that way. Same as this one. It's good egg of potential in there, I'm hoping. And then this guy. You never know what's inside till you cut it, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do that. Well, funny thing happened. I wanted to record myself turning on the slab saw, and but I wanted first to have the blade start up as a dry blade so I had to do that first and then shut it off and then record myself flipping the switch so after I did that I forgot to turn it back on to record so I missed myself recording the rocks anyway that doesn't really matter the important thing is they're cut let's have a look I haven't looked at them yet let's see if this one goes right through or not I'm excited ready Oh, cool. That's awesome. That goes right through. I don't know what that material is. That is so cool, though. Right through the granite. Hmm. I wonder what we can make out of this. Very cool. I love it. Then... Got this little guy kind of broke. Oh, yep, it did break. Ooh, but look at that. That's pretty. I'll put them in the photo booth later and take some better pictures. Right now, we'll just have a quick peek. Oh, that's cool. So you can all have a better look. Anything in this side, this one? Ooh, a little bit. That's interesting. And last but not least, this one broke in three pieces. There's a little piece that come off. So we'll have a look at that first. Oh, that's definitely agate. Cool. And then... I'm excited about this one. Ready? Oh. Well, a little bit. Not like I thought. But still cool. Alright, let's put them in the photo booth. Take a few pictures and we'll have a closer look. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. To see the rest of these rocks. And some other cool projects that I'm doing. So that will notify you whenever my video comes up. And I'd appreciate it. Penny and I had a blast today going out to uh, our favorite spot and finding that uh, big calcite vein. Wasn't that something? That was amazing. We've never seen that before. But since the water's out that far, we were able to get out there and uh, notice that thing. And that was wild. That was such a cool thing. So we will see you all again next week. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a great week. Oh, please stick around for the pictures. Today's music is brought to you by my good friend Jay Case, who is a talented local musician and also has a YouTube channel called Beauty of the Backcountry, where he travels all over northern Ontario featuring gorgeous scenery and wildlife. I'll post links to all of his social media in my description. Please check him out.